Hey everybody, welcome to my page, K Flan the Rail Fan. Today we're we're starting to do something different. We're going to start talking about some adventures and travelings with our camping and our RVing. So today is our first camping trip with our uh, RV, and I thought I'd show off the campsites where we're going to be going on our adventures. I'm not going to be doing a review. It's pretty much just showing you what we have. I'm in Ronks, Pennsylvania, and we are at the Mill Bridge Village Camp Resort here in Ronks, Pennsylvania. We're about five minutes from Strasburg Railroad, which is pretty much down that road right down there. And uh, we came here because it's an RV resort. It's a nice little park to, to come and check out. And they have an historically marked building here on this site. So we're gonna go check that out. So why don't you guys jump on this boxcar with me and we'll head down the line. You guys can see off the side here. I gotta edit that. So, this is the historic landmark building that this uh, campground is uh, famous for. This is the Hirsch Greist Mill. Um, this was built in 1738. It was built by a grandson, uh, John John Hers. Um, he built this. 1730. He actually had a patent given to him for 1,100 acres, which is where we're at right now. And uh, he built this mill. Now this mill was a uh, gathering point for people to bring their goods in and out of. Right here, if you can see where that chair is at, right there. It used to be a covered bridge here. It was built in 1844 as the Hers Mill Bridge. Hers Mill Bridge, uh, covered bridge. It was dismantled and was taken to a place called the Star Barn up in. Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania and is being refurbished and repurposed for a uh, walking tunnel up in that area now. Even though it's still not on grounds anymore, it's still being used. But uh, this mill is the focal point. It is a uh, historically marked building and uh, they still have the wheel that works. Maybe later on we'll be able to get inside that, but that'll be a different building, uh, a different video for guys to see. But uh, it's uh, we're right off to the uh, Piquet stream that's p-e-q-u-e-a i don't know how exactly you, you pronounce it but let's continue on the journey here So, a little gazebo down here, sitting down back behind the mill, and so we can gather up and have a seat, maybe a drink or something, have a good time. But again, it sits right off that uh, that stream down there. They do have a resident. They do have a resident uh, duck down there. She's a white one. Her name is Millie. You'll see a picture of her later on, but it doesn't look like she's out right now. Let's keep walking. They do offer cabins here. They have a couple of them here on site. From what I saw, they're about $99 a night, but they have uh, all your basic amenities on the inside of there. And uh, that's one of the options you can have here. You can RV here, you can tent camp here, whatever you need to do.
Now I'm going to be showing you some of the amenities and everything that they have here. But we're going through when the uh, showstopper is going on in May 2020. You guys understand what that is. Uh, so a lot of the places are closed right now. But I'm just going to show you where the things are and you can check it out. So come on with me. One of the amenities that they have here, they have a pool. Like I said, it is closed right now. It's not going to be open until later in the season, if at all. Um, here in a lot of the pools throughout the state are going to be remain closed. So if you want to check it out, there's a pool. This is something you don't see every day. You got a nice little windmill here, which is pretty interesting. Let's continue down this line. Nice looking class A, huh? This is gonna be your main building in your, your gift shop. Right now, if you guys come here through through May, they have um you pretty much check in online, so you're not uh, doing a whole lot of uh, socializing with what's going on. You go in there, you pick up your uh, your car number and your tab, and you take it back to your site. But if you have to buy anything or anything right now, you go to the window, and they run everything through there and they get you what you need. But that's normally the gift shop and the registration. The laundromat is down here. They do. Have Laundromat is down here. They do have laundry on site. So they have a laundromat here, and also I found out when I was uh, researching this place, they also have lofts. They have two to, uh, uh, the loft up on the top that can support two families. Uh, so that's another option that you have here when you're, you're staying at this campsite. Uh, down here in this building, the red one down here, that's the game room. That's where they have all the game rooms and the restrooms down here on the back side. That's a big long building. Our site right here, number 26. It's pretty much a pull through site. They do have both back in and pull through. We got lucky and got one of the pull through sites, and it worked out for us because when we pulled in, the vehicle was pretty much ready to go. No uh, leveling whatsoever. So, we showed you from the other side, but this is a good shot of it here, right? This is the playground that's on, on the campground. As you see, it is closed off, as I mentioned, because of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic that's, that's going on. They want to keep social distancing with everybody with safety. But uh, this is a look back toward the, uh, the store and the registration office. And back toward that way is the mill where we came in, the grand old uh, entranceway. And up here is a bridge that's uh, knocked out that pretty much goes over that creek. Um, I would take you guys up to the creek, but there's a lot of camps, campers in here right now. And I don't want to be snuffing on their stuff right now or their camps. So is it creek or creek? So I'll take you down around the back here. 
Yesterday there weren't as many people here, but uh, this is the back side of the camp. Let you guys all see this. I'm not going to disturb too many people because, but all these sites along this corridor here, they're all, they're all along the, the stream. The Pequay Creek. That's P E Q U E A. Pequay Creek. That's the whole creek bed back behind there. If you're lucky enough to get one of these back ones. And they have an old abandoned bridge there that's shut down. And a couple of other cabins here. And as we walk down the other way, it's pretty much a Y right here, so you can go left or right. But that Amish farm I was telling you about, here's the back end down here. On how you're able to get to it. That's one of the main roads. You saw me coming up that other way the last time when we started this film. And this is the back side of the park. The majority of these RVs down here are seasonal. People keep their stuff here all year round. Morning. Well, we're coming up onto the Amish farm. It sits right next to the camp. So, there's a lot for you to see here. They do have horses in here too. There's a, there's a young coal or folk, uh, foal or colt here. And that'd be your Amish farm right down there. And I don't want to disturb anybody, but this back area here, if you can see it, this is the old, uh, This is where the, can, the tent camping goes. This is the back end of the lot, the back, uh, this is right next to the farm. Usually coming down where that white truck's at. And you'll see it when I'm coming in. A horse and buggy at Millbridge Village Camp Resort. Say goodbye to you guys.